I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, TJ Bird. Yeah. Um. I don't know, I just thought, like, when I think of vi a vigilante, I think of Batman, I think of the Punisher, I think of those characters that are going around stopping crime because the police don't have the ability to prevent the crime. And I just didn't think that that fit the facts in this particular scenario. What occurred today was that Mr. McGillicuddy believed that the victim was attempting to lure his daughter, who's 14 years old, um, in a particular area, and Mr. McGillicuddy believed, we heard it from his own life, that this individual has a history of attempting to lure children. And so what this man, who uh, loves his children, uh, decided to do was go kick some ass, is what he, is what he did. And he did it. It's, that's against the law to do that in Canada. Uh, but morally, Mr. McGillicuddy was the one who did it. While I, you know, I don't personally agree that it's the right thing to do because as a lawyer we have to ensure that our clients are not breaking the law and when they do break the law we do the best we can to protect them. Uh, there are two weapons charges. I just want to find out or ask what, what happened to those. They're withdrawn by the crowd. So this matter is completely over? It's all over with. Uh, Mr. McGillicuddy just has to do the time. Okay. Thanks a lot. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And I think, I think it was like about 18 months. Diagi, I almost tripped on you, buddy. So it finally came in the open that I knew this about two months ago, that the guy, did they, they come out in the open, the guy molested the... Sorry, he, what? Did they come out in the open that the guy that beat up the meth head, the drug dealer, tried to lure his daughter? Did it come out in the open? Well, nothing that they prove. Oh, did, but did, that's, you make, did you make a statement to that? Yeah. Okay, so that's what. So anyway, stay tuned. How are you?